This is code.org. The image plus class represents an image that can be modified with filters and effects. Interesting. It is a subclass of the image class, shocking, and has an instance variable. Don't let these words scare you. Instance variable is this guy. Uh, pixels. Instant variable pixels, yes. For a 2D array of pixel objects in the image. All right, so what are we doing? Write the method get pixels to get the pixel objects from your from the image. Return the 2D array of pixel objects. Okay. Where is get pixels? Get image pixels. Get pixels. All right, do. Create and return a 2D array of pixel objects that contain the pixels from the image. Okay, so it looks like, guys, keep in mind that we are extending the image class. So we can utilize that to populate an array of pixels. And we need a 2D array of one. So I'll go ahead and do pixel, blop, 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 blop. And then create and return a 2D array of pixel objects that contains the pixels of the image. So uh, image pixels, I'll say. And it's going to be equal to, we have to instantiate it. Now, instantiate it with what? Well, it's going to be a new pixel array. We know this much. But what will the size be? And this is where it gets somewhat tricky. And you want over reference documentation. So I know we're using the code.org image class. And we need to know the size of our 2D pixel array. Well, if we want a pixel for, or we want a, every pixel in the image, then we need the height and width of the image. So thankfully, in the code.org image class, we have get width. And we can do it just like that. We don't have to say my image because we are currently within the uh, class that is extending image. So we can just say get height. Now, keep in mind with pixels, it being a 2D array means we need the number of rows first. So we're going to do get height here and get width here. Quapow. Okay. So now we have initialized our 2D array that it's empty, but it will have the right size. Cause again, guys, this is secretly doing image or this object dot get height, get uh, width. And now we can loop through and grab each individual pixel. Right now we just have an empty container. So I'm going to use a for loop. Let's see if it gives us a hint. Oh, it does tell us a lot. Okay. That's helpful. Make sure you use your resources when you get stuck. All right. So int row. Let me hammer some of this out and I'll talk about it. Okay, so this is how I would do it with the traditional for loop. I want to point out a few things. So obviously we're looping through the rows. We get the length of the entire array because that's how many rows there will be, which oh, they don't give it to us right now. But that's how many rows there will be. And we say add one to a row each time. Then inside of this, we immediately loop through the columns. Now make sure when you're looping through columns, notice I do image pixels zero because I'm getting the length of the first row. I would say it's more technically correct if I did something like this dot row because then I'm getting the actual length of each individual row. However, zero is also fine. Now, since we just learned about enhanced for loops, you might be tempted to try to use one. The problem with that is we need the actual row numbers, not the data within the row. So it'd be difficult to use an enhanced for loop in these circumstances. But for now, let me take attack it as I am. And so then I need to populate each of these row and call using what? Well, once again, we need to be grabbing these pixels. And how do I know that? We go to code.org image, and I know I need to save pixel values within this. So if I just kind of scroll through this, we have a handy dandy method, get pixel. And what do I need? I need the X and Y values. So X, keep in mind, is actually going to be the column number, whereas Y is up and down. So Y would be the row number, X is the column number. So I can go ahead and do get pixel. And again, guys, what this is really doing is image dot get pixel, but we're in that class, so we don't need to. Well, we're in a class that extends it get pixel and then I need my x value which is the column 
it's a bit confusing, and now I need my row value. Bam. Okay, and that's looking good. And then what I want to make sure to do, though, is not return null. I need to return this. Let's see if this compiles. Whoops, we got a mistake in here. Ah, I have a typo, of course. All right, so far so good. Now what? Get pixels, number of rows equivalent. Yep, number of columns is equivalent. Yep, cool. Instantiate your image plus object with an image in the asset manager. You can upload or use your own. Okay. Level two, that's us. Instantiate the image plus object. So I'm just going to do image. And then what is in our constructor? Oh, file, right. So we're going to need to actually have an image. So let me head over. Where's our assets? Let me head over to our manager of assets. Oh, they already loaded in some in. Ooh, ooh, I'm 100% using dog. Dogs are great. Cats are awful. If you like cats, I'm sorry. That's your mistake. You're welcome. Okay, so I'm going to use, and I believe we can just throw the string in. And my string, you got to get exact, but my string, I believe, was dog.jpg. Draw the image in the scene and add a pause after the image is drawn. Oof, it's been a minute since we've done this, but so we need to use. Did they instantiate a scene object? Woo, they did. That's nice of them. Okay. Draw image, it should be. And if you don't remember, which would make sense, you guys can use your documentation, code.org. Scene, right? All right. Draw image. And then, ma. And then where do I want it? I'm just going to set these equal to zero, right? The locations. And keep in mind if I... Uh, otherwise, it could get a bit weird. Now, the height of it or the width of it, I don't know. I'm going to set it to 500, and we'll see what happens there. Stop, and let's give this a shot. But, uh, so it might be a bit too big. We always have the option of just getting the width of the screen. So my, or scene, I guess, dot get width. Looking good. Now, let me just make sure... Oh, pause. We need to add a pause. Right. Mm, Here-ish. Uh, and it's the scene, so my scene uh, dot pause. And it usually takes a double, so you can do like 1.5. I'll probably just do one second. And yeah, I guess onward.